Olympics of 2022 showed persistence, resilience, and dedication despite the obstacles. They rose to meet every challenge and showed themselves to be exceptional both academically and extracurricular activities. This year's seniors were recognized with four National Merit finalists, Ella Hall, Lauren Shea, Jenna Lawson, and Landon Plumley. Two of those students, Lauren Shea and Landon Plumley, were also recognized as Oklahoma Foundation for Excellence Academic Allstate students. 45 Spartans were recognized as Oklahoma Academic Scholars, indicating they had an unweighted GPA of at least 3.7 and a minimum ACT score of 27. This class won four state football titles, three state marching band titles, would have had a fourth if COVID hadn't canceled the marching in the fall of 20. The band also had seven students be named to the All-State Band, including Emma Husson, Faith Cowan, Logan Tanner, Peter McManus, Andrew Jones, Matthew Kirk, and Levi Radford. Our JROTC won four straight drill state championships. We've had 16 Spartan senior athletes so far to be named All-State, including Braylon Presley and Jack Puckett from football, Leah Wagner and Aiden Horn from swimming, Caden Dawson from cross country, Brooklyn Nance from cheer, Zach Blankenship and Emma Thompson from wrestling, Alyssa Galliard and Cammie Witham from slow pitch softball, and Jordan Frederick, Andra Muller, Gentry Kirk, Connor Nolan, and Martin Martinez from the girls and boys soccer teams. <laughs> Kenzie Dietz was also named an All-State trainer. We will get more recognized as we finish our spring sports in the coming week. Girls basketball were state runners up for two consecutive years, as were boys wrestling at dual state. Our baseball team qualified for a second 6A state tournament. In fact, they're playing a game right now as we do this commencement exercise. And our slow pitch softball team qualified for state for the first time in 6A. Our girls soccer team advanced to the 6A state semifinal last year, and boys soccer made it to our state semifinal for the first time this past Tuesday night. Our cheerleading, our girls basketball, our girls tennis, our boys soccer, and our wrestling teams were all named academic state champions in their respective sports. <laughs> 15 of our speech and debate seniors competed this year in 30 virtual tournaments hosted in 20 different states, as well as a full season of in-person virtual tournaments with the OSSAA. Senior Lauren Drum qualified for the National Speech and Debate Association National Tournament and Lincoln Douglas debate, and four other senior students, Shay Sullivan, Alexi Beams, Madison Adam, and Kenneth Butler were alternates to the national tournament in various events. Six seniors qualified for the OSSAA State Speech and Debate Tournament. 32 seniors participated in theater productions over the course of the year, including the outstanding musical Disney's The Little Mermaid. Our senior choir members, Kate Kiros Medina, senior drama member, Joseph Graver, and senior band member, Anima Husson, all received the state superintendent awards of excellence in their respective fields. Senior Kenneth Butler made the OAKE National Honor Choir. Seniors Kennedy Adams, Haley Barnes, and Christine Lundy were named state FFA degree recipients. These awards I just mentioned are just some of the individual group and team recognitions that Bixby High School seniors received in academic and extracurricular activities. Through all the challenges, the Spartan class of 2022 have continued to persevere and succeed. They have supported one another, lifted up our school and our community, giving all the present, past, and future Spartans something to be proud of and excited about. During the uncertain times of the past four years, our students' determination to succeed and every endeavor was a certainty. I am thrilled to be here tonight to recognize this outstanding group of young men and women. Tonight, as our students begin the next season of their lives, they should know the school and the entire community are cheering them on and anxiously awaiting the impacts they will have on the world. So Spartan seniors, Olympian Gail Deaver said, keep your dreams alive. Understand to achieve anything requires faith and belief in yourself, vision, hard work, determination, and dedication. Remember that all things are possible for those who believe. It's been my privilege to be the principal for the class of 2022. At this time, we're going to try a new tradition. So seniors, this is our chance. Take out your cell phones. I know. All right, take them out. Take your selfie. All right, everybody got it? Now, now, text, text that picture to someone to help you make it to today and tell them thank you for the impact they've made in your life. Take a second to do that.
All right, are we ready? Now, seniors, as you promised me you do this afternoon, turn your phones off, put them away for the remainder of the ceremony. <laughs> Leap of faith. All right, at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the Bixby High School Ambassador Choir, which will be singing Over the Rainbow.
Thank you, choir. Please welcome to the podium the 2021-22 Bixby High School class president, Zach Blankenship. Uh, my opener was going to be a joke about uh, not getting a step stool, but they came through, so thanks for that. First off, I'd like to thank everyone for being here tonight. The class of 2022 is more than just us students. It's the parents, teachers, coaches, faculty, and administration that helped get us here. So again, I thank you. Well, we made it. Congratulations. I'm glad to see you all here alive and well. It seems like the world did not want us to graduate. It hit us with everything it's got, natural disasters, a world-stopping virus, a war. But despite these things, here we are. I have a short amount of time to describe our class, but I think the best way to describe us is as winners. And not because of the accolades and state titles, but I assure you we have those, but because of the fact that we are here. We had everything go wrong during our high school journey, yet here we are. Whether it be the crazy Oklahoma weather or the global pandemic, or the weird smell in the science building, <laughs> or the weird smell in Coach Barron's room, <laughs> or the weird smell of Coach Barron's. <laughs> we have endured whatever has been thrown at us, and that is why we are the class of winners. However, these past four years have been filled with just as much good as bad. Like I said earlier, we win a lot. I don't know if you all know this, but an annual gold ball season is not normal. We've raised thousands of dollars for numerous causes and have had some of the most winningest years in Bixby history. We had a couple proms in a barn and made lifelong friends along the way. We worked hard, played hard, and studied hard when we weren't taking tests in our room and could look up the answers. But best of all, we did this all together. As senioritis sets in, I can't help but feel robbed of our four years of high school because we weren't physically in school half the time. I feel robbed that instead of begging my mom not to go to school, I was attending class in my room through Zoom half-dressed. But instead of feeling robbed of our past, let's look to the future. We're all on to the next chapter of our lives, and whether that be college, trade school, living at home with your parents as a social media influencer, or whatever you want to do, <laughs> it's going to be unfamiliar terrain. We no longer have our parents and teachers holding our hands. We make our own decisions now, like choosing our major, or choosing our career, or choosing beef or chicken flavor ramen, but if I know anything about us, it's not going to stop us. It is another challenge to conquer. The obstacles we face during this challenge won't stop us either, as they never have in the past. They could throw 10 more viruses at us, and I'm sure we'd still manage. As we go our separate ways, we may never see each other again. Or we'll see each other in the fall at Stillwater and Norman, where 90% of us are going. But I'm confident that we'll not forget one another, because I sure won't. The memories we have made these past four years are just the beginning. Go out and be winners, class of 2022, and good luck. And like the great poet Kanye West once said, who gonna stop us, huh? Thank you, Zach. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you our distinguished guest, Bixby Public Schools Superintendent, Mr. Rob Miller. Associate Superintendent of Bixby Public Schools, Mrs. Lydia Wilson. Our Assistant Superintendent, oh, I'm sorry, Assistant Superintendent of Bixby Public Schools, Ms. Jamie Milligan. The Board of Education for Bixby Public Schools, our President, Mr. Matt Dotson. Our Vice President, Mr. Justin Cheatham. Clerk, Ms. Tristy Fryer. Members, Ms. Julie Prox and a member, Ms. Amanda Steven. I would like to take a minute to recognize our uh, Bixby High School uh, Teacher of the Year, Ms. Stephanie Beasley. How are you doing? Good job. I was looking for the flowers, but Zach beat me to it. I'd also like to take a minute to recognize our Bixby Brassfield Learning Center Teacher Year, Mr. Tyler Schneider, and our Bixby Ninth Grade Center Teacher of the Year, Mr. Michael Cox. Our great announcers for the diploma presentations, Ms. Shannon Altum, Ms. Jody Hawk, Mr. Lauren Montgomery, and Mr. Mike Rogers. I would also like to take a minute to thank the Outstanding Pride of Bixby Band tonight under the direction of Mr. Stephen Collins. 
our Bixby Junior ROTC and Colonel Chris French for their help with tonight's ceremony. And a special thanks to Ms. Tama Davis for all of her hard work, planning, and organizing of tonight's commitment ceremony. <laughs> Lastly, I'd be remiss if I did not recognize the other Bixby School staff that helped make the ceremony and the other senior celebrations possible through their dedication to our students and many hours of hard work. Activity Director Dwayne Patterson, <laughs> our senior sponsors, Megan Rogers and Megan DeLay. Assistant principals Kyle Smith, Tina Francis, and Dr. Seth Ann Lang. Our alternative director, Daniel Dietz. And all of our Bixby High School counselors, teachers, and staff that work all these events. Thank you so much for helping us celebrate these students. And as I'm looking at these two guys in the front, I want to take a minute to recognize two of our great retirees, Mr. Roy Hunter and Mr. Randall Briggs, who are retiring this year and have put many, many years in Bixby High School. <laughs> Next, I'd like to recognize a group of individuals whose pride in your accomplishments is even greater than your own, your parents. Thank you for your love, support, and sacrifices throughout the school years in order to get to this very special moment. When the world was looking elsewhere, your parents' attention was one of life's certainties. And if tomorrow the world seems a little indifferent as it awaits new achievements from you, your families will still be your best source of encouragement and counsel. More than any other influence in your lives, they help make you with the success you are today and might become tomorrow. So will the parents of our 2022 graduates please stand and be recognized. Thank you. I would like to recognize another very special group of men and women in the audience. They too have had an untold influence in the lives of these students. Their determination, professionalism, support have played a major role in the preparation for this moment. If you are a member of the Bixby High School faculty and staff, would you please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. Bixby High School staff also recognize that our success comes as part of a larger team that is made up of all the faculty and staff of Bixby Public Schools. If you are a member of the Bixby Public Schools faculty and staff, please stand and be recognized at this time. Thank you. We are blessed to be Americans. The freedoms we all share are directly attributed to the men and women that unselfishly commit to serve in the United States military. At this time, I would ask the young men and women from the class of 2022 that made a commitment to serve, please stand up and be recognized. Thank you. Last, I would ask that the men and women in the audience who are currently serving or have served in the past in the U.S. military, please stand up and be recognized. <laughs> Students and veterans, thank you for your service. At this time, I'd like to recognize the class of 2022 salutatorians. These students represent the top 2% of the 2022 graduating class. Please rise as I call your names. Matthew Hobbs. <laughs> Madeline Noggle. <laughs> Rika Kasi. <laughs> Stephanie Zwaznamar. <laughs> Emma Husson. Now, if you'll please direct your attention up to the large screens of the video boards, we have some special recognition of our salutatorian. Hi, my name is Emma Husson. I'm a class of 2022 Bixby High School salutatorian. I'd like to thank my mom, my dad, and my sister Allison, and my best friend Madeline for all their support throughout high school. Hi, my name is Stephanie Swansomar, and I'm a Bixby High School class of 2022 salutatorian. I'd like to thank my parents, brother, and friends for getting me to this point. 
Hi, I'm Rekha Kasi, and I'm a 2022 Bixby High School salutatorian. I'd like to thank my parents, my brother, and my friends for all the encouragement and support they've given me. Hi, my name's Madeline Noggle. I'm a class of 2022 Bixby High School salutatorian. I'd like to thank my parents, my dog, Mr. Baldwin, and my best friend Emma for supporting me. Hi, my name is Matt Hawes. I'm a class of 2022 Bixby High School salutatorian. I'd like to thank my parents, my brothers, and my friends for helping me make it here. I would like to recognize our five outstanding valedictorians for the class of 2022. These students represent the top 1% of the 2022 graduating class. Please welcome to the podium our first valedictorian, Nicole White. Hello friends, family, teachers, administrators, and of course the graduating class of 2022. Today is a day of inspiration and thanks. It is an honor to be standing up here today alongside these other four bright minds that are a consequential reason that I get to have this opportunity to speak to all of you. Getting to where I am now, I guess some could call a dream, but most of our dreams growing up were more, the, more along the lines of being an astronaut and walking on Mars or becoming the next president of the United States. Mine, on the other hand, was to become a lawyer. Standing up here now, having to speak in front of all of you, easily confirms that is maybe not the best option for me. Um, the next thing I looked into was music, and as soon as I started my freshman year in band, I knew I would love it, and I did. I met the most amazing people that I don't know what I would do without now. They helped me through it absolutely all. That's you guys, Josie and Alex. And I learned more from the directors and being part of the program than I did probably anywhere else throughout my entire high school. Um, every individual one of us had a unique experience that got us here today. Everyone has earned their spot in entirely different ways. I have my parents to thank for my path. My mom was keen on me getting here before I even knew what high school was, it seems like. But for that, I'm grateful. Thank you, mom and dad. But no matter how you got here, it is something to be congratulated on, not just by others, but by yourself. And although our differing experiences led us all to the same spot today, those same experiences have the power to define what we do now. My dream now is not based on something as simple as a career. Dreams mature as do we. I want to be successful and I want to be happy. I want a life equally filled with love as it is laughter. Receiving this diploma is a stepping stone to achieving it. And now we must let the next class step into our shoes and take over. Our time here won't be measured in hours or days, but hopefully, rather, all of our memories we get to cherish and forever be fond of. As these memories fade with time, the few that remain and dwindle are the gift we get to receive. This high school has given me direction to move forward with my life, and for that, I will be forever grateful to all the teachers and all of my classmates that played a part. So fellow graduates, I urge you to take what you've learned these past 12 years and make the most out of it. Congratulations, class of 2022. We've earned it. Thank you. Please welcome to the stage the next valedictorian, Jenna Lawson. Good evening, everybody. As a generation, we seem to keep finding ourselves in this bustling world of constant expectations. These expectations, either externally or self-imposed, become rather burdensome over time. This is why, personally, I choose to avoid dreaming. While this sounds very pessimistic, allow me to give some context. To me, a dream denotes this overarching mission in life, an impossible final item on the to-do list. The idea that, oh, they were very successful and lived such a happy life, but they never fulfilled their dream, differs very little from my mother's response to my failed baking attempts. Um, it's pretty, but I think you forgot the sugar. I believe this same sweetness can be pursued through different methods, such as goal setting. Goals are tiny building blocks in the skyscrapers of our lives. Goals build from the bottom up, giving a solid foundation for the eventual next steps. Dreams, on the other hand, attempt to bypass this process. Dreams try to build from the top down and start by installing the elegant stained glass window before the wall itself is built. By focusing on our goals instead of our dreams, we are able to slowly pave the way to the same ending in a much more achievable way. Returning to grade school, this idea is present in a story as simple as the tortoise and the hare. 
Well, I didn't understand it then, and frankly thought it to be rather poor advice if you were trying to race somebody. Slow and steady does in fact win the race. There are no shortcuts in our lives. And while it may suit others better to hold on to their dreams, I offer one bit of advice. Take a step back. Try to reevaluate that dream and break it into a series of goals. Allow us to change the paradigm. Allow us to take one step backwards so we can take an infinite number forwards. Now, before I leave this podium, I have a few more thank yous to make. A tremendous thanks to my parents, Shelly and Jeremy. A slightly less tremendous thank you to my sisters, Jesse and Joey. And huge thanks to the rest of my family. Thank you to my friends, including the amazing Rachel Brooks, and the incredible teachers and coaches that helped me along this journey. Finally, thank you Bixby High School for an incredible four years as a Spartan and the preparation to begin my next four as a black bear. Thank you. It is my pleasure to introduce our third valedictorian, Ella Hall. Hi everyone. Um, good evening to everyone, but mostly the graduating class of 2022. Today, we can celebrate and have fun because this is an amazing moment in our lives. We have accomplished something great and our friends and family get to sit here through this very long ceremony just for the moment we walk across the stage. So let's all appreciate those who showed up just to see that. Um, we're all here tonight to celebrate our triumphs, our achievements, our victories, both individually and as a school, and the journey on which we have all embarked upon to our future destinations. Each of us has had our own unique experiences at Bixby, a combination of good times and bad times, times of laughter and joy, times of school spirit, and of course, times of last minute caffeine fueled studying for that test that we forgot was taking place tomorrow morning. So shout out to Starbucks. Um, but standing here today thinking about what lies ahead, I find myself remembering how I felt before high school. Four years ago, I had no idea just what it would be like. I had no idea how many nights I would be up at 3 a.m. finishing projects. I could have never imagined the absurd amounts of caffeine that I would be consuming on the regular. And I would never have imagined myself up here talking to y'all. But as we go our separate ways from here on out, let's try not to lose that spark that tells us to pursue our dreams. I mean, when we were kids, we dreamed of being like a fairy princess, a veterinarian, and a professional puppy petter all at the same time, or something equally fantastical. When did we lose that confidence? Like, I seriously thought I was gonna be like a pop star, even though I cannot sing at all. But the gist of it is that I've learned up not to give up on my dreams, even if they don't seem possible, and even if they are unrealistic. I'll remember this and all my experiences at Bixby High School as I take my next steps in life. That being said, I want to thank every single one of my teachers because I would not be who I am today without the experiences that I've had with each of them. I want to thank Ms. Harder for being an amazing counselor and supporting me throughout the, the crazy college admissions process. And I also want to give a shout out to the Bixby Soccer Program for all the friendships I've made and fun experiences I've had, which have been some of the best in my four years in high school. And a special shout out to Coach Mike. Lastly, and I didn't forget them, I want to thank my parents who are somewhere out there. I don't know where because there's so many of you. Um, I could not have been luckier that I ended up with the most supportive and loving parents ever. Thank you and congrats to the Bixby Class of 2022. We did it. And now our next valedictorian, Landon Plumley. To the class of 2022. So I'm gonna keep this short so we can give Mr. Miller plenty of time to speak. <laughs> First off, I need to thank a few people or I won't hear the end of it. I would like to thank my parents for always being there, my grandparents for always encouraging me, and I'd like to thank my friends for always keeping me humble. So if you hadn't noticed, the theme we were given to work with was our dreams. We were asked what our dreams were when we were younger compared to what they are now. Now I don't know about you, 
but I sure don't remember what I was thinking five years ago. So I can't really tell you how my dreams have changed. But in a way, I don't think it matters. What we dreamed five years ago or what we dreamed a week ago doesn't affect where we are now. All we can do is live in the moment and look towards the future. In the words of C.S. Lewis, there are far better things ahead of us than any we leave behind. The future is ours to dream. It's been a long four years and we've been through a lot, but now we're moving on. After we get our diplomas, we will be headed into what they call the real world. Schools will no longer be free and our parents might not be as keen to keep us around. <laughs> we are heading into a new chapter of life. We're all going to different places to do different things. In the end, we all have the same goal, to be successful and to be happy. There's a famous saying, the secret to happiness is doing what you love and the secret to success is, doing what, is loving what you do. However, happiness and success will look different for each of us. Some will find happiness in future sports endeavors as CEOs or surgeons. If we love what we do in all aspects of our life, the rest will follow. It may take time for us to focus our lens enough to discover what it is we love to do that will bring us happiness, but the journey is half the fun. Wherever our dreams take us, I know one thing for sure. The Bixby High School class of 2022 will make its mark on the world. So first, relax, breathe, enjoy today, enjoy the summer break. Then let's go unburdened by the thoughts of our past, pursue our dreams, and be the best version of ourselves. And now I'd like to introduce our last valedictorian, Lauren Shea. Good evening, Bixby High School class of 2022. Today is an exciting day. I want to give a big congratulations to everyone here. Despite all odds, we are finally graduating. First and foremost, I would like to thank God, my family, shout out to my brother Daniel, and my friends. You have made my life truly memorable. Thank you for your unconditional love, support, and strength. You made me the person I am today, and I don't think there are words to truly express my gratitude. I would also like to thank my teachers, my coaches, my counselor, and all of those who supported me in my personal and academic endeavors. Thank you very much. Without all of you, I would not be where I am today. Now, let's talk about our dreams. According to Medical News Today, about 95% of dreams are forgotten by the time a person gets out of bed. I'm sure many of you have experienced that frustrating moment of trying to recall a seriously exciting dream seconds, even minutes after waking up. Fragments remain in our mind, but after a while, those lucid adventures, successes, and emotions fade away. In some cases, we may not even remember our dreams. Class of 2022, let us not forget about our dreams. Let us hold on to our goals, visions, and passions. When I was five, I dreamt of being my dog, Stanley. He got massages all the time and could get a treat just by looking at you with his big puppy dog eyes. But most importantly, Stanley could happily swim without even trying. I dreamt that swimming would be as natural to me as it was to Stanley. Maybe that's why I got into swimming. I am telling you this short snippet of my childhood to show you how our dreams affect our lives. They inspire our actions. You have to dream before your dreams come true. Standing in front of all of you, all of you today, I realize that I know what I dream for my future. I want my existence to inspire others to strive for their visions no matter what. I want to help others become the person they aspire to be. I want to always keep learning so I can grow myself and help the people around me. I wish this the same for all of you. Follow your dreams. Dreams will forever be a part of us, and it is never too late to achieve them. 
unless you want to learn how to do a backflip when you're 96. In that case, I would advise pursuing that goal only in your dreams. Now, at the end of our high school careers, we have an opportunity. An opportunity to take on the world and pursue our dreams. To leave a legacy. Always remember that the opportunity to achieve greatness is within our grasp. As Donovan Livingston once said, together we can inspire galaxies of greatness for generations to come. No, the sky is not the limit. It is only the beginning. Bixby High School, class of 2022, never stop dreaming. Thank you. And now, I would like to welcome Mr. Adams back to the podium. Thank you, Lauren, and great job by all of our valedictorians. Please welcome to the podium the superintendent of Bixby Public Schools, Mr. Rob Miller. Thank you, Mr. Adams. Good evening, everyone, friends, family members, Fellow Spartans, thank you for coming out tonight to help us celebrate this extraordinary group of high school seniors. Bixby High School class of 2022, you made it. Welcome to your graduation. We are so proud of your accomplishments and all the fortitude that you displayed to get to this point. On behalf of the Board of Education and all of our Bixby employees, I wanna congratulate each of you for achieving this important milestone in your life. We're confident that as you leave the halls of BHS, you're gonna find a tremendous success in the future and we can't rate, wait to read about it. And Landon, thank you very much for yielding the balance of your time. I will use it, maybe, we'll see. In full transparency, ladies and gentlemen, I do have a little bit of a chest cold. You may be able to hear that in my voice, so I hope I don't have to erupt in coughs or anything like that. I also did not type any of my remarks out, so this is all coming from memory. And I will be solving a Rubik's Cube in front of thousands of you while I talk. So this is either gonna go very, very well for me tonight, or it's gonna be an epic fail. Either way, it'll be fun to watch, right? So, seniors, you're finishing your fourth year of high school. At the same time, I am finishing my fourth year as superintendent of Bixby Schools. And speaking personally, it has been a wonderful four years. I have made memories and friendships that will endure with me for the rest of my days. And I hope the same is true for you. But let's face it, the last few years have not been a cakewalk, have they? Been a little bit crazy, a lot of ups and downs and twists and turns and things that none of us could have predicted four years ago. Hence, the Rubik's Cube. The Rubik's Cube is often used as a metaphor for life because you can jumble it up, kind of put it back together. And what I'm gonna ask our front row back behind me is to help relive or work out some of their frustration over the last four years as we kind of take a short trip down memory lane. So Zach, I'm gonna hand this to you first and you just don't break it apart, but twist it in any which way you want, put whatever colors you want up there and then we'll pass it down the row and then if you can bring it back up when you're done. You can pass it around. Here we go, Zach. All right, Zach, here we go. We're going back to eighth grade year, the end of your middle school years. And I spent 22 years as a middle school principal and teacher. I understand the trials and tribulations of middle school. So go ahead and work out any residual angst that you have from those years. We all have it. I still have some. But remember at the end of your eighth grade year, we did this great thing called a teacher walkout. Remember that? 
That was because of a decade of underfunding of public education in Oklahoma. Our teachers finally said enough is enough and collectively they marched on the Capitol and advocated for and received the largest teacher pay raise. And they deserved every penny and more. But it caused that spring semester to be a little jumbled. We missed nine days of classes. We had to adjust the schedule to add minutes so that you could finish with the requirement for that. So that was kind of a weird way to end middle school, wasn't it? But then you moved on to ninth grade and you became freshmen. Doesn't the word fresh man kind of explain it, right? You're now at the low end of the totem pole again. You're trying to figure out high school, all the rules and regulations. You're in classes with upperclassmen. You're trying to figure out how sports work, how activities, how pep rallies work. You're trying to learn the expectations because now your grades count and go on a transcript that's going to be really important for you. Oh, keep spinning it. Yeah, keep going. No, keep. We're not finished. We're not finished. Pass it back. But at the end of your freshman year, you, you really made some great progress. It was a pretty good year. But then remember in the spring of that year, the sky opened up seemingly for 40 days and 40 nights. And it rained and rained and rained. And we had an epic 100-year flood, which caused us to close schools early again and shut down all the campuses on the south side of the river for weeks after the end of school, disrupting athletics and camps and all that other. So Zach, you know, who's got the disc now? Or a cube? Oh, back there are. That sounds good. But we came back for our sophomore year and all was going to be well, right? Because now you're in the main high school, you're taking classes, you got things figured out, you're playing JV, some of you are playing varsity sports, you're in plays, you're doing all those great things all the way up till spring break and we send you home and you don't come back. COVID hit and it shut down everything, not just schools, it shut down businesses, it shut down everything in society, it shut down pro sports, it shut down your sports that you'd been training all year to play spring sports and you could not. It disrupted summer camps that year it really made a shambles of the end of that year as well. But then your junior year was really a mess, it really was a mess. We started the year, COVID was rearing its ugly head. We had cohort groups, remember those? Only half of you came at a time. We did social distancing, you were wearing masks, sanitary protocols, isolation, quarantines, all the fun games that were associated with COVID for that year. We missed six weeks of school. We're in distance learning during your junior year. Some of you added a couple weeks because of isolations and quarantines. That was a rough year. Not many classes have had to endure that sort of thing. But last summer, remember the hope in our heart because COVID had waned and around the 4th of July, we were thinking we're past this. We saw the light at the end of the tunnel but as the saying says, that light turned out to be a train called Delta. And it plowed over us at the start of our senior year. Here you go, you can't even start the school year the same way anymore. So we had cohorts again, and we had some more disrupted learning, more distance learning. We get past that, and Omicron in January. Please, can we just finish a school year? So when it was raining last week, I was worried. Can we just get to May 19th? Can we? All right. Who's got the cube now? Bring it back up. Oh, you already, you already, they already solved part of it. <laughs> got to make it a little harder for me. All right. So here we are. This is our life now, right? Seniors, you're leaving high school and your life feels like this in a lot of respects. You've started putting things back together and getting back to normal. You're excited about moving on, going to college, going with your friends, making new friends, going to the military, starting jobs, starting families. But how do we move on from this? The first step 
is to start moving, right? But moving with purpose, because we don't just want to ramble and wander aimlessly. They say the average human to solve a Rubik's Cube just by moving pieces around at random would take 137 billion years to solve. You don't have that long. You've got to, got to figure out life a little quicker than that. So what you need to do is you just start with what you know, your foundation, right? You know the pieces that have gotten you here, your academics, your friends and family. You start putting those pieces where they belong so that you have a foundation on which to build. And pretty soon, you'll start to see some patterns, some familiarity. You'll work through that and you'll say, hey, I'm making some progress here. You know the first guy who solved the Rubik's Cube, guess who he was? Rubik, there, there you go, not too hard. You know how long it take, took him, the inventor of this thing, you know how long it took him to solve it? A month. He invented it, but he solved it using math and figuring out the details. But it still took him a month to solve it and get back to his foundation. Because you see, we know what a Rubik's Cube looks like when it's complete. It's six sides, each with a different color, all the same. You don't know what your life looks like at the finish. But you can build it one layer at a time. But you have to have a plan. You have to know where you're going. You have to have that end in mind in order to do that. I learned how to do a Rubik's Cube in about a week. But I had something that Mr. Rubik didn't have, YouTube. <laughs> so once you get that layer done, now you just keep working at it. You start building. You go to college or you go to a career trade and you start learning the things that you want to do. You find your passions and talents and you continue to develop those. You find friends that have common interests and you start working on, oh, there was that side. And a good lesson, too, is sometimes in life, you make a wrong turn. And you have to go back and look at it. And you start just building a little at a time. You start getting some success, some momentum. And things start coming together. You know, the fastest person to ever solve this was a 14-year-old who did it in 4.9 seconds. 4.9 seconds. So clearly you're not witnessing a Guinness Book World Record performance tonight. It's taken me a little longer than that. But not much longer. Getting closer. There was also another young man who solved this in 20 seconds with his feet. Which is odd. <laughs> right? Oops. I've taken a misstep here. Hold on. Going back to the epic fail part. Now, we got it. We're getting it back. Just have to go back a step or two, figure out what you did, and fix it, and things will get back. Another guy jumped out of an airplane and flying towards the earth at 120 miles an hour solved a Rubik's Cube in 32 seconds. That's pretty amazing. A robot solved it in eight tenths of a second. That's pretty impressive. All right, so, we're getting pretty close here now. There we go. And then, at some point, if you have a good plan, you're patient, persistent, work through those challenges, those mistakes you make in life. It all comes back together, right? So, so the moral of the story is life's that simple. It's over, right? End of speech. Nope, it's not. Nope, not that simple, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize for that. 
Here's why a Rubik's Cube is really not a great metaphor for life. First of all, it's unrealistic. I turned 61 years old in about three hours and 18 minutes. For those of you who were here last year, that's 22,280 days. And of those 22,280 days that I've been on earth, I've had some really good ones, but nothing like this, nothing perfect. And I submit to you, if this is your goal to get all those pieces in the perfect place for you to be happy, you're gonna be frustrated. Because what I've learned is that I can control the movement of the pieces that belong to me through my decisions, my choices, my attitudes. But I'm not very effective at controlling the movement of the pieces that surround me, the other people, the other events in life. So always be comfortable with a little bit of disorder. Move and adapt as the other pieces around you move and adapt, and you'll be much happier. Second, this is not complicated enough. A mathematician says that this has 43 quintillion permutations, which means there are 43 with 18 zeros on it, different ways you can configure this cube. Big number, right? Nowhere near complicated for a human life. This is more like it. This is a five by five cube, and I know you can't see it very well, but this one has 283 Trevor Gentilian. That's a real word. It means 283 with 72 zeros after it. Different ways you can configure this cube. That's roughly equal to the number of the number of atoms in the known universe. So this is probably a little closer to what a human life is like. But here's the third and most important part of that. Almost anyone in this room can learn how to do what I just did today, probably faster and better. We've got YouTube, you've got online tutorials, you can find someone else who can teach you. There are some time-tested series of steps or algorithms, ways that you can solve it. You learn the patterns, you learn how to move your fingers, and you can solve a Rubik's Cube pretty effectively. And I knew that no matter what these students did back here, even though they're valedictorians and really bright, that I would be able to put this back together in a relatively small amount of time with 100% certainty. What I can't do tonight, unfortunately, with 100% certainty is tell you the series of steps or algorithms that you need to follow to find happiness, joy, contentment, self-fulfillment, or love. You see, those are the real puzzles of life and every human being wakes up every single day in pursuit of those goals. You're gonna have to figure that puzzle out yourself. I've got a, in closing, I'm gonna give you just a couple tips to help get you on the right track. Number one, some of the students talked about this already. Follow the positive lead of those individuals who have helped get you to this point. Your parents and grandparents, family members, teachers, coaches, pastors, scoutmasters, whoever those people are who have shown a light for you to show you the path forward to success. That's a good start. Number two, as you begin to walk that path, make sure that you surround yourself with individuals who hold you to a high standard and keep you accountable while also respecting and appreciating who you are as a unique and special human being. Number three, try not to get in your own way. Sometimes we as people get in our, are the biggest obstacle to our own happiness when we let things like pride, envy, greed, hatred, anger, fear get in our way. Be cognizant of your temptations to go to one of those places and work through it and keep moving forward. And the final thought I'll leave with you today is appreciate the moments 
the ups, the downs, the twists and turns, the trials and tribulations. Appreciate those, appreciate tonight. Because those memories, those moments will accumulate faster than you can possibly imagine into a lifetime and you only get one. So class of 2022, I wish you the best as you leave this stage today and leave Bixby High School. I know you're gonna have a lot of success solving your puzzles in life. Congratulations. All right, I am going to add, ask Mr. Adams to come up here real quickly. And this, I, I know this is a night to celebrate the students, and we're getting a little restless because our time is, is going here. But I would be remiss if I didn't take a moment to acknowledge Mr. Terry Adams. Many of you know already that Mr. Adams and his wife Vanessa are moving to Norman over the summer to, to pursue some exciting opportunities for both of them. He has done a wonderful job. In the 10 years that he has been here, students, you were doing third grade clap out when he was doing his first graduation. So that tells you how long he's been here and the legacy that he is leaving behind for his successor. You have built great programs, a great faculty, and a great tradition of excellence at Bixby High School. We are gonna miss you tremendously, Terry. Your leadership, your vision, your support of students, your relationships with parents and coaches is gonna be very, very difficult to replace. So I've got a small gift for you that in light of what we just talked about, I thought was appropriate. Not a Rubik's cube. <laughs> it's not a Rubik's cube. <laughs> no. Is that what about. you all thought? <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I was going to make him solve it or something? No. It's an eagle. And it says, an eagle earns its honor from the storms it endures. And this eagle has gone through some storms. But he has grown and he has become a better leader and a better man as a result of the storms he's endured. So Terry Adams, 2012 to 2022, Thank you for your years of service, and we wish you the best of success. Thank you, Mr. Miller. Mr. Miller, members of the Bixby Board of Education, honored guests, family members, and friends, at this time, it is my pleasure as principal of Bixby High School to present to you the senior class of 2022. It is my task to certify to you that each of these seniors before you tonight is in the process of completing the requirements of the state of Oklahoma and Bixby Public Schools for a high school diploma. We will begin at this time with members of the Board of Education, Mr. Miller, his staff and honored guests, the awarding of diploma covers. As we announce the names of each graduate and as the graduates cross the stage, we ask that you maintain a high level of decorum fitting for the occasion of this formal ceremony. So at this time, I'll release our um, students here on the stage return to their spots and our Board of Education Administration to assume your spots. And we will begin handing out diploma covers. Yeah, well, usually, and then, and then if we get a Hispanic language, you, you have to ask them how to repeat it, and I'll get out of the way, and then 
We'll do it until the next difficult name or whatever. Or if you need a break, I need a break, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take them and hand them to you, and if they look. Yeah, So, Miss Thompson has one of the cards, and then tell them what I said. Madison Renee Adam. Haley Jalen Barton. Kennedy Sue Adams. Braden Gordon Bauer. Cheyenne Elizabeth Adcock. James Isaac Bauer. Annie Abigail Aguayo Rangel. Jasmine Renee Baxter. Amna Zaid Ali Al Dewani. Alexi River Aiden Beams. Caden. Harris Armstrong. Anthony Michael Beckner. Cole Allen Ashlock. Megan Ray Beecroft. Gabriella Grace Aslan. Lily Kate Began. Eliza Madison Ball. London Grace Bine. Sage Alexandra Barner. Congratulations, Bo. We're gonna give them a break real quick. Bo Matthew Bertelli. Haley Marie Barnes. Sophia Ashley Bertelli. Tanya Nicole Biggins. Dominic Daniel Bertrand. Landon Daniel Billings. Amy Elise Bradley. Sydney Danielle Bingham. Anna Brosino. Christopher Thomas Black. Rachel Mary Brooks. Jeremy Eben Blackow. Thomas Christian Anderson Burke. Zachary Scott Blankenship. Blake Matthew Burns. Gracie Lynn Bluebaugh. <laughs> Kenneth Melvin Butler III. Grace Alexandra Blum. <laughs> Lindsay Kate Byers. Kellen Cole Bomback. Tyson Scott Bird. Jason Owen Bornefeld. 
Rika Kareen Peralta Cassie. Jackson David Boyd. Abrian Edward Cole. Vincent Thomas Castaldi. Hannah Marie Cohn. Matthew Aaron Cable. Cody Wayne Conley. Presley Ryan Caldwell. Cole Tyler Conley. Ashton Glenn Campbell. Madeline Marie Constantine. Nathan Joseph Campbell. Reagan Lynn Cook. Cameron Elizabeth Carter. Robert David Coolbaugh. Dylan Matthew Cavan. Aiden Elias Cooper. Morgan Alyssa Chambers. Benjamin Morwood Cotton. Avery Brooke Charrington. Catherine Faith Cohen. Caden Lane Clark. Ash Craddock. Hayden Patrick Coffey. Caden Ray Dawson. Colin Alexander Craig. Gentry William Dean Dietz. Samuel Eugene Cranberg. Mackenzie Renee Dietz. Mason Dean Crawley. Lydia Diaz de Leon. Jackson Andrew Krieger. Jesse Levi Doblebauer. <laughs> Megan Summers Cross. Avery Claire Dobson. Chase Andrew Cuckler. Peyton Joe Donnell. Calvin Thomas Comiskey. Isabella Mayablu Doyle. Cheyenne McKenna Dale. Jalen Page Driscoll. Braden O'Neill Darrell. Lauren Renee Zenker Drum. Andrew Joseph Daddle. 
Cheney Paul Du Bois. Haley Grace Davidson. Trista May Everding. Annalise Nicole Davis. Jared Kane Thought Jr. Jenna Ruth Dunlop. Presley Ryan Ferrante. Levi Samuel Dunsmore. Morgan Marie Fike. Caden Daniel Duran. Aaron Eagle Fisher. Samuel Vinai Dyer. Nathan James Fleetwood. Anora Bell Dias. Lily Grace Flegler. Chandler Grace Ennis. Edens, like the garden. Ridley Marin Fogarty. Chance Morgan Edens. Jasmine Flores. Spencer Reed Epperly. Esmeralda Carina Fonseca. <laughs> Litsy Gilady Esparza. <laughs> Abigail Nicole Foster. <laughs> Alexis Ray Estrada. Victoria Alexandria Garcia. Sadie Lane Fox. Francine. Elizabeth Victoria Gates. Skylar John Francine. Brett Daniels George. Jordan Taylor Frederick. Grayson Dwayne Gibson. Preston Scott Freeman. Ashlyn Grace Giffen. Madison Ryan Frieda. Elijah Zane Glimp. Jacob Dell Friend. Miguel Angel Gonzalez Jr. Ella Keen Fryer. Victoria Vanessa Gonzalez. Natalie Grace Fullerton. Clara Lynn Goff. Madeline Kate Funk. Riley Marie Graham. Connor Lane Gage.
Caitlin Tierra Gravit. Zachary Grayson Gage. Leah Alexandra Greenhall. Alyssa Lee Galliart. Anna Grace Hammonds. Brady Timothy Gresham. Mackenzie Faith Harland. Bella Ruth Griffin. Ava Caroline Harper. Reagan Paige Griffith. Luke Jackson Harper. Abigail Marie Grossman. Alexander Stephen Harris. McKenneth Leanne Groves. Jacob Dylan Harris. Jesse Sonia Gunn. Sydney Paige Harvell. Olafur Raymond Gunnarsson. Jack. William Hayes. Haley Delane Gunter. Braden Shane Helms. Kennedy Michelle Guy. Morgan Sierra Helms. Mason Hunter Hackler. Aiden Lee Hill. Ella Olivia Hall. Cameron Taylor Hill. Haley Lane Hall. Miles Matthew Hill. Xander Alonzo Herrera. Walker Aaron Hill. Alexander Logan Herrera Matheson. Sarah Whitney Holly. Jonathan Marshall Harold. Nathan J. Hood. Genevieve J. Heron. Braden Cole Hopkins. Tegan James Higgs. Aiden Lee Horn. Gavin Reed Heiberger. Ella Kathleen Horton. Matthew Norman Hobbs. 
Brooke Lynn Howard. Emma Yvonne Hobus. Lauren Nicole Shea. China Don Marie Holland. Gracia Maria Gamero. Bryce Kendall Huffaker. Alicia Paige Jones. Emma Reese Hassan. Anissa Lynn Jones. Madison Kai Inbody. Colin William Jones. Gracie Marie J. Julie Ann Jones. Colt Xander Johnson. Lillian Audrey Jones. You want me to say that? Jaden Matthew Johnson. Logan Zane Jones. Cadence Cheyenne Johnson. Mackenzie Lynn Jones. Riley Paige Judd. William Andrew Jones. Doris Mar Hungo. Saj Kendari. Jamie Jaime Hungo. Logan Thomas Capitan. Faith Brooklyn Kenny. Matthew Charles Kaiser. Morgan Sophia Kessler King. Jack David Lane. Christian Brock King. Marley Ray Lauer. Spencer Jean King. Jenna Lee Lawson. Gentry Ruth Kirk. Jessica Ledesma. Jolie Grace Kirk. Caitlin Kennedy Lee. Matthew Keith Kirk. Colton John Lavasser. Josephine Jacqueline Knox. Bentley Pierce Lewis. Hannah Nadia Kolb. Angelina Hope Liner.
Tyler Don Kewen. Abigail Don Lloyd. Sandeep Kukilaya. Grace Abigail Locke. Skylar Elizabeth Landry. Christine Louise Lundy. Allie Lynn Lockwood. Kaya Emily Lusardi. Chase Michael Long. Sina Pauline Lutz. Paige Leanne Long. Hanin Madam. I'm sorry. Ian Michael Lonsdale. Tristan David Madden. Jasmine Lopez. My boy, my boy. <laughs> Riley Elizabeth Mesh. Jonathan Lopez. Bennett Thomas Malloy. Nicholas Ryan Lorenz. Kylie Madison Manser. Anthony Gage Lormer. Emily Jane Marazis. Ethan Tyler Love. Evelyn Marufa. Mackenzie Claire Lowe. Martin Martinez Leva. Lauren Grace Lucas. Peter Michael McManus. Brianna Lynn Martin. Reagan Alana Mader. Ian Michael Martin. Kenzie Jean Mercer. Emma Elizabeth Massey. Chloe Caitlin Meyer. Joshua Jaden Matheny. Juan Antonio Miranda Marilla. Caden Zian Matthew. Andra Marie Muller. Sarah Grace May. Heidi Lynn Moore. Taylor Lynn McClure. Reagan Watson Moore. Parker Michael McCorkle. Emily Don Morgan. I know, I know, I got this. 
Camden Rex McCrary. Andrea Rebecca Morris. Dana Jade McDougal. Kendi Mota Gardunia. Jackson Thomas McKinney. Kate de Los Angeles Marino Gutierrez. Avery Julia McLaughlin. Karsten Blaine Osborne. Mateo Angel Munoz. Caitlin Ann Pafford. Brooklyn Nicole Nance. Sean Dylan Page. Madeline Sage Noggle. Riley Jackson Palmer. Brady Eugene Nesby. Keegan Matthew Parrish. Jacob Lee Newberry. Christopher Saxon Parker. Maggie Suzanne Mary. Noel. Hold up real quick. Hold up. Meredith Lilla Head. Emily Faith Newton. Cody J. Pascal. Colton Sawyer Nimrod. Levy Delay Pasillas Gutierrez. Connor Michael Nolan. Mary Ann Patino. Balahan Emi Ojenka. Macy Lou Pease. Alexis Jesus Ortega. JC Renee Postma. Paige Catherine Pennington. Carson Hedrick Ira Powell. Enzo Alejandro Perez. Faith McKenna Powell. Michael Colin Periello. Rayleigh Jordan Prentice. Taylor Rose Perry. Braylon Alvin Presley. Hey, Prince. Congratulations, Prince. Kaylin Renee Perryman. We're gonna, let, we're gonna let it get quiet before we say anything, okay? Haley Elizabeth Prince. Ashton James Peters. Jacob Robert Prox. Tanika Michelle Peters. Yeah, 
Brian Jack Puckett. Brooklyn Nicole Phillips. Liam Neal Purdy. Carson Marion Purtle. Brittany Kiraz. Landon Todd Plumley. Kate Kiros Medina. Jessica Lynn Ponder. Karsten Jack Rice. Justin Thomas Pope. Noah Ingram Rice. Levi Matthew Radford. Dustin Dominic Richardson. Dallas Avery Raim. Kirsten Lee Roberts. Sarai Lorena Ramirez. David Rocha the third. Jonathan Lawrence Ray. Amy Anayi Rodriguez. Jacob Lee Rail. Carla Rodriguez. Anthony Lane Renfro. Rain Renee Rodriguez. Marcus Andrew Repture. Juan Pablo Rodriguez Mora. Haley Judith Ressinger. Caleb Andrew Rogers. Alexa Jimena Reyes Gutierrez. Andres Mauricio Rojas Obando. Eli Mitchell Ryan. Jaden Christopher Rolden. Patrick James Ryan. Alexis Santos. Andrew Prescott Rolls. Drew Dylan Sawyer. Kai Christopher Roller. Hayden Rain Mateo Shivone. Brooke Ellen Faye Rallo. Connor Joseph Shifley. Kyle David Romanevich. Dylan Ethan Schmidt. Rodrigo Ernesto Romero. 
Zachary Aaron Schmidt. Alex Rosas. Reese Dalton Sedlicek. Landry Wade Rose. Samantha Helen Sellers. Taryn Dante Ross. Brooklyn Gay Scheffler. Olivia Ann Rowe. Callie Joe Shepherd. Mary Jane Blackbear Russell. Ryan Christian Cheryl. Calvin Sapon Jong. Colleen Christian Simpson. Denali Rose Sansone. Amelia Suzanne Stam. Logan Clay Sims. Devin Harrison Stanley. Preston Kelly Sipes. Alyssa Jordan Josephine Stoffer. Brandon Michael Sloat. Bailey Grace Steele. Aiden Jeffrey Small. Caleb Wade Stevens. Amelia Grace Smith. Joshua Douglas Stevens. Aika Marie Tonko Solayo. Joshua Trey Stevens. Preston Tate Solomon. Hunter Elise Stevenson. Michaela Ty Southerd. Jonah Eli Stevenson. Abraham Donald Springer. Hope Darcy. Hold on. Stay. Stay. Hope. Hope. Hope Darcy Stevenson. Bo Dempsey Garcia Spring. Jake Edward Stoops. Cameron Abigail Stacy. Addison Reese Stort. Connor Gabriel Stacy. Seth Daniel Tillman. Oh, no, no. Emma Marie Stout. Tobin Remington Townsend. Turner Nicholas Strawn. Perla Violet Troches.
Benjamin Sean Streeter. Zachary Ryan Troxel. Evan Edward Sudler. Kobe Tate Turnbow. Ali K. Suter. Addison Brooke Udkoff. Shay Ann Sullivan. Sumner. Danny Uloa. Lacey Lynn Sumner. Hayden Thomas Upton. Lauren Lane Sutherland. Jacob Ryan Utter. Logan McKinley Tanner. Kieran Aaron Vandra. Alfred Kenneth David Thomas. Leah Ann Wagner. Emma McKenzie Thompson. Cameron Paige Lou Witham. Emma Catherine Wade. Marcus James Wilburn. Katie Nicole Wallace. Madeline Marie Williamson. Adeline Ray Warner. Jeremiah Eugene Willis. Caden Michael Warner. Jake William Wiseman. Garrett Michael Washington. Christopher Ethan Wool. Alexander Grant Wayman. K. Ali'i Havika Vold. Gavin Jean Wheeler. Wyatt Justin Woods. Nicole Doreen White. Joy Ann Worley. Paige Marie White. Reagan Sueco Don York. <laughs> Tiffany Marie White. <laughs> Stephanie Anna Zwaznabar. <laughs> Hudson Robert Vaughn. Dylan Reed Wilkerson. Landon Noah Lee. Ricardo Hernandez Rios. Nathaniel Kirk 
Bickle. He's a baseball guy. Seniors, parents, and families, Bixby High School teachers and staff, former Bixby High School graduates, please stand, me at, stand with me and join me in singing the Bixby High School alma mater. The words are on the board for you. All right, seniors, stay on your feet. I'd like to welcome back to the podium your senior class president, Zach Blankenship. And at this time, it's my honor to formally present the 2022 graduating class of Bixby High School. Seniors, at this time, you may now turn your tassel. Congratulations, seniors. This concludes our ceremony for the evening. Thank you and good night.